So I'm gonna start by taking everything out. give up, but the only thing that's keeping me going is the progress. Today I'm carrying on with my decluttering series that I started here on YouTube earlier in lockdown. The pantry is one of the last areas that I've got to decluttering. I have such a sheer volume of things in the cupboards that are just not getting used. Either they're out of date or have been buried in the depths, never to see the light of day again. To start, I think it makes sense to give you guys a little tour of what's going on with the pantry. So let's do that now. Okay, so first over here we have the main pantry. So this is where the bowl of everything is stored so yeah it's looking like a huge mess right now but we have like most of our preserved items anything like in cans jars bottles any sort of bulk items are in here other than that i'm not really sure because it's kind of just devolved into a huge mess also this shelf up here this i specifically designated for ben because it's perfectly at his eye level so ideally it would have all of his stuff up here like his ketchup and things that he uses often so we're gonna try to achieve that by the end of it okay so moving clockwise around the kitchen here in the next cupboard over we have the cereal cupboard so this is actually not that bad right now there's probably only a couple of cereals that i'll have to take out so i don't think i'm gonna empty it this whole cupboard here. Third cupboard over. This is the baking cupboard. A lot of the stuff in here is actually really, really old. Yeah, this one's gonna definitely need a big clear out. And then on the other side of the stove here, this is the cooking cupboard. So here I have like my oils and sauces that I use for cooking, as well as dried herbs and spices here. And then up top is just a couple of things that we would have in bulk. Then this cupboard here is the supplement cupboard. Honestly, I kind of don't even know what's going on here. I haven't cleaned this out in years. Here I have my peanut butter because it's closest to the toaster and some teas. I have one whey protein, but then everything else is Ben supplement. So we're gonna have to go through those and try to minimize them a little bit. Finally, we have the last cupboard. So this is the snack cupboard. And this is completely spilled over from the main pantry. And then after it has spilled over from this section, it then spilled over into this cupboard. So I'm really looking forward to deep cutting. We've got kind of all of our snacky foods, some sweet and savory biscuits, cookies, and that sort of thing over here, granola bars. And then down here, we have oat milk and almond milk stores. Here is where our crisp have spilled over to. These are just my supplements, some squash over there. All right, so in preparation for this massive declutter, cleared off all of the kitchen work surfaces and the entire kitchen table. We need a space to take everything out and organize it. To be extra prepared, I took out two bins. So I've got my regular bin as well as the recycling bin if I'm throwing away any packaging and things that have got expired. I've also got two bags here, one for the food bank and I've got another one for family and friends. Okay, so before I get started, I thought I would walk you guys through my decluttering plan and provide you with steps if you wanted to do the same. First off, because I have so many cupboards, I'm going to work in sections to make this job feel less overwhelming. Next, I'll empty out the entire cupboard or section that I'm working on 
take everything out and place it on the table. I will check all of the dates or check if it's been left open and it's gone stale and anything that fits in that category I'm going to put in the bin. I'll then separate everything left into two categories so either things that I want to keep or things that I don't want to keep. Next I'll separate that giveaway pile into two so one for anything that's sealed and unopened, the other anything that's partially opened, those will go to the food bank bag and the friends and family bag respectively. Everything that's left over is going to go back into the cupboard so I'll set that aside to reorganize and put back once all of the sections have been decluttered. And since all the cupboards are going to be empty, it's the opportune time to get in there and give them a deep clean. So I'm just gonna wipe all of the cupboards down when they're empty. Finally, once all spaces are decluttered, I can then reorganize and replace all of the food. And that is the most satisfying step. So I'm gonna start with the snack cupboard just to get warmed up. Sit. Everything out. everything into things that have expired and things that are still within the due date. Three, two, one, go! Okay guys, so we finished off the snack cover and I'm feeling warmed up. This is all the stuff from the snack cover that is yet to go back in. And now we're going to do the big pantry. So I'm gonna start by taking everything out. Is it recording? these baskets came out of the big pantry. I've got a lot of work to do.
Okay, so I finished the big pantry sorting and I'm feeling really good. A little bit tired, I'm not gonna lie. That is everything that's left over. So it's really not that much compared to everything that was in there. That one was really bad. It really needed to get sorted out. So the next step is to just keep working on all of the rest of the cupboards. So I'm gonna try to power through that and I'm resisting putting any of this stuff away even though it's really tempting until I've finished everything because it's gonna help motivate me get through it all. So on to the next. Okay, so we've got five out of six cupboards done. It's just the last one to go, which is the supplement cupboard. I don't wanna say that it's the worst one, but I know that there's gonna be a lot of stuff in here that has to go. And there's a lot of stuff in here that I haven't looked at in a really long time. <sighs> just need to get this one done and then I can finally take a break. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very tired right now and I wanna give up, but the only thing that's keeping me going is the progress and just wanting to be done like it's so nice to have these cupboards completely empty so it's just this one and then i'm all done It's been around two weeks since I last left off with you guys, which is why I'm in a different outfit now. It's a different day. But I wanted to have some time to actually use the pantry, see how my organization system worked. And to be honest with you guys, I'm so happy with how it turned out. And it's honestly made my life so much easier. Like it's easier to find things. I can just open my cupboards and see exactly what I have. It's taken away kind of the underlying stress of working in the kitchen and cooking and things, which was my original goal. I have not decreased the amount of cupboards that I use. You guys will see in a second, but I have spaced everything out so I can literally open my cupboard and see everything that I have, which is awesome. It was honestly so much work to reorganize the pantry. I'm not gonna lie, but it's really, really paid off. It's been the best time for me to do this because we now have three people living in our house. Ben, who's working from home, whereas before he'd be out at the office all day. My brother's staying with us and of course myself. So 
there's just way more traffic in the kitchen so it's really useful to just be able to see exactly what I have and when we're running low on things I can see exactly what I need to restock and when. I'm really really happy with how things turned out and I'm really excited to show you guys how it looks. So yeah let's jump into the final tour. Okay so we'll start off with the main pantry which is the most exciting and we'll work our way around the kitchen just like I did last time at the beginning. So this is what it looks like. Oh, I'm so happy with how this turned out. This is exactly what I was hoping that it would be. I've decided to keep the main pantry for everything that we have more in bulk, things that we go through more frequently, and that tends to be condiments like we have on the top shelf here, and like certain ingredients that I'll use for cooking, tomato sauce, sort of like stock pots, that sort of thing, anything that I'll need for cooking and anything that I have multiples of go in this pantry. I know I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I wanted to keep this top shelf for things that Ben reaches for because it's at his perfect eye level and I did do that but I decided to make it more into like condiments and things but we have his ketchup and his host like dressing which he has every single day so this still functions as I would like it to and as I mentioned this one is for the cooking ingredients and then this one down here is kind of for miscellaneous and then we've got pasta in the back and then we just have like breads and things here that's it for this one so moving along to the second cupboard which is the cereal cupboard now i will say this is a work in progress i just recently bought these jars here from amazon just to test them for the cereal and if i like the way that they work i think i'm gonna buy some more um, for the rest of the cereals but i decided to put ones that we use frequently in the jars for now so that's that now next up is the was the quote unquote baking cupboard it's kind of the same as it was before but we've just minimized it a little bit it's sweet ingredients you could say but i also decided to put my teas up here much easier access for me and this is all of our syrups and nut butters nutella and that sort of thing and then up there is actually like the true baking ingredients we have sugars chia seeds some nuts and then eventually flour when i buy flour so that's that one and then we have the cooking cover which has pretty much stayed the same in terms of functionality it has all of my cooking like spices herbs and sauces things that you use more frequently. I love this thing here. This is a little Lazy Susan that I bought from Amazon. And here you can kind of move it around and be able to see all of the cooking ingredients that you need. So I've got like vinegars, soy sauce, sriracha, some cooking sprays. Up top we have bulk rice wine vinegar and salt. And then down here, I'm actually so happy with how this turned out. I wasn't even expecting that I would organize it this well, but once I got everything decluttered, I felt like I might as well go the extra mile and buy some organizational things for here. I've always wanted to have one of these little step systems so that you could see all of your spices. I also invested in a salt and pepper dual shaker because it takes up less space in the cupboard and it's all in one so I don't have to like go around looking for the pepper and the salt it's all right there so I love that yeah so that's it for that one and then the last one is the supplement cupboard so this one I feel like has had the biggest transformation there's pretty much nothing left in this and I did think that I could eliminate it all together but I ended up deciding to keep it because we're used to going over to this cupboard for our supplements and what I've done is just space everything out so that it's easier to access rather than having to reach up here. We pretty much just have, so this is Ben's protein, his creatine, and then we have all of our pre-workouts here. I almost forgot to show you guys the snack cupboard and this one actually has had maybe one of the biggest transformations. So here it is. I've implemented a few like organization systems in here and it's really made accessing these things a lot easier so i invested in these little baskets from amazon i think they're from a brand called m design i'll link them down below but they're the perfect size because they fit like granola bars and little individual bags of chips so perfectly and i put my supplements in here as well i just think that they look a lot nicer than the plastic bins that i had before i enjoy when things look nice and aesthetic it just makes me happy inside so i'm really pleased with how this turned out here. So we've got the granola bars up here, super easy to see and to access. I've put my little tea biscuits here in two jars. Here is 
oat milk and almond milk. Again, really easy to see and access. Like this looked way messier before in my opinion, whereas now you can see exactly what we have. It's easy to just pick one out and it just looks a lot cleaner and nicer. So that's pretty much it. pantry declutter and reorganization video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope it's inspired you or motivated you to perhaps tackle your own pantry honestly going into it i was like what am i doing this is going to be so much work it's going to be stressful and I don't even know if it's worth it, but in the end, it was so, so worth it. So if you do have time, if you're still staying at home and you're looking for things to do around your house, then I highly recommend decluttering your pantry. All right, so that's everything from me. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give me a like and consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you don't miss a future video. I think I'm going to be doing some more vlogs going forward. So if you have any requests or any ideas for me, please let me know and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.